Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. This is the part one of series of video tutorials which uh, we are going to do on AWS Systems Manager. This is the part one of that and in this particular tutorial we are going to cover about the run command. Uh, before we go ahead, uh, let us quickly understand what Systems Manager is all about, how does it help and then we will see a demo and understand with that demo that how can we use the run command which is there available within the AWS Systems Manager. So before we go ahead further, I request you that if you have come to this channel for the first time, uh, please go ahead and look at our channel, look at our videos. Uh, there are a lot of AWS uh, practical videos with demonstrations which you will uh, find useful. If you feel that the quality is okay, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and get benefited from it. All right, so first of all, let us go ahead and quickly see what Systems Manager is all about. We'll just spend two, three minutes and understand and then we will jump into the demo. Systems Manager is basically a, you know, a group of different capabilities or functionalities which Amazon gives you free of cost. These functionalities or capabilities are typically used to, uh, you know, to, to go ahead and manage your instances. Let's take certain examples. Uh, when you have your EC2 instances, whether it is Windows or Linux, you are going to do certain tasks always. Those tasks could be executing certain shell script. It may be installing a software. It could be updating a particular package on Linux machine, or it could be applying Windows updates. All these things are there, which we always do, right? Uh, if, you, if you look at any enterprise environment, uh, that enterprise would be using certain tools to go ahead and manage the patch management thing, right? to do the patch management thing. Now, Systems Manager can go ahead and do it for you, right? A lot of such things. So, in the upcoming videos, we will cover, uh, we'll cover each of the functionalities which Systems Manager offers. In this particular one, we'll go ahead and talk about run command. Uh, just a quick thing, Systems Manager was earlier known with different names like Amazon EC2 Systems Manager, Simple Systems Manager and so on. But now this is, uh, it has been called as AWS Systems Manager. That's the formal name now. Though if you will go ahead and look at the actions, like basically the IAM actions, which are related to, uh, which are related to uh, AWS Systems Manager, you might notice SSM there. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and talk about run command now. So what I'm going to do is first, I'll go ahead and launch certain instances. I'll do that really quick. I'm going to go ahead and launch, let's say three or four EC2 instances. And then I will show you that how we can use run command on it. As the name says run command, what run command does is it actually allows you to execute a command on a particular instance remotely. Okay. So let's go ahead and launch it and then we'll talk about it more. So I'll say launch, I'll go ahead and choose Amazon Linux. I'm just going to keep it T2 micro, which is okay. I'm going to keep it in the public subnet. Yeah, so it will have public IP. All right, great. I'm going to say launch four instances. And normal uh, root volume 8 GB, which is okay. Uh, just okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I've missed a step here. Now, uh, this is this is crucial though you can do it later as well but understand that your if you want to if you want to uh, make sure that your uh, instances get managed by systems manager you have to do two things two two important things one is you need to give an im role to your ec2 instance that is first second one is on your ec2 instance the ssm agent systems manager agent should be installed now good thing is with the Amazon Linux or uh, uh, Amazon Linux 2, all these latest images, the systems manager agent is already installed. So you don't have to go ahead and do that. If in case you, if, if in case you have a, you know, you have an instance with older image, there is option that when few, com you know, with the execution of few commands, you can go ahead and install it. I'll show you that how you can do it as well in case you have to install it manually. But I have chosen the latest Amazon Linux AMI and hence I don't have to install the systems manager agent on this machine but i will have to give an im role so remember to summarize two things 
you have to give an IAM role and you need to install SSM agent. What IAM role are you going to give? So let me click here. I have created a role called for SSM hyphen EC2. I will show you what this role is. In this particular role, you have to just attach one pre-built policy, right? already written policy, which is called Amazon EC2 role for SSM. In case you are not uh, aware of creation, aware uh, of the fact that how to create uh, IAM roles, there is a detailed video on our channel, which you can go ahead and check. So you have to go ahead and create an IAM role, which will be there for EC2 instances, understand, right? For EC2 instances, if you see, uh, that will be there in the trust uh, policy and uh, this is a pre-built uh, pre policy which is written which you will have to give it to it amazon ec2 role for ssm that's it so this particular role has i have i had created it before itself and i've given that role to this ec2 instance now we'll just go ahead next next uh, that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and select um, let me just you know create a new one. I'll just call it SG Linux. And that's it. I'm opening 22. We'll just go ahead and launch this. Um, I got this particular key, so I'll say launch. Okay, so good. So if we go to EC2 now and to the running instances, uh, so it should be coming up. I had filtered it. So they're there in the pending state. So just want to show the running ones. So the four instances are coming up now. We'll give it some time. Once these instances have come up, uh, I will show you how to execute a command remotely on these. Okay. In the meanwhile, uh, let me go to uh, here. So we, t we talked about systems manager already. Um, yep. So I've told you what to set up. Here on the in the EC2, if you scroll down to the left most, you will see systems manager services. The first one is run command. So if you click on this, you get to see the option to run a command. Okay. So you have to press on run a command and you get to see a lot of options. These are called command documents. So uh, if you click on any of this, you'll be able to see and understand that what does it, what does that particular document do? So for example, if you say AWS run remote script, so what does it, what does it say? Execute scripts stored in a remote location. So you, you might have a script which is stored on, which is stored in GitHub or maybe in Amazon S3. You can specify its location and that particular script will get executed on the Windows or Linux machine. You will get to choose the instances on which you want to execute it. In the same way, for example, if you select something like AWS run shell script, so this is applicable to Linux. What it, what it allows you to do is run a shell script or specify the commands to run. So you can go ahead and write the Linux commands which you want, which you want to execute on your EC2 instance. So for this particular demo, what I will do is uh, remotely without logging into the EC2 instance, using this run command, I'll go ahead and execute certain Linux commands on, on our EC2 instances. So what we, what we can do simply is, let's say we'll go ahead and install HTTPD, basically Apache web server, and then we'll go ahead and start that service and we'll see that, uh, the, that, the, that the default website would be accessible, okay? So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let us see what's the, what's the condition of our EC2 instances. Uh, it is coming up. Let me select any one of them. If you see, this is the public IP. I'll just try to go to this. And of course it won't open. Uh, port 80 is not allowed. So let, let us go ahead and open port 80, right? Because Apache runs on port 80. So I'll just open this. Uh, no, I think, I think I opened it. No, I'm not sure. Let us just check guys. Uh, go to inbound and see, no, it is not open. So I'll just open port 80 from anywhere all right great so we have open port 80 good uh, but but uh, you know currently there is no apache installed on this and hence if i say go to i would see that nothing is coming up great refuse to connect all right good so all our instances are there in running state let us go ahead and 
and execute a command remotely now. So here I'm going to select AWS run shell script. Then I will scroll down and I have to go and select the instances. I might have 20 or hundreds of instances. On what all instances do I want to execute this command? I can go ahead and manually select them or I, also, or I can also filter it via tag. So for example, you have 20 instances which are of, you know, uh, which have a tag called environment equals dev. 20 other instances which have environment equals test and 40 other instances which say environment equals to prod. So you may, you may filter based on tags as well. Great. So I'm going to, for now I'm going to do manual. So I'm just going to say manually select and do this. And as you can see, all the four instances are coming up here. Uh, I can expand this a bit so that you can see 83B001, 754, BA0. These are the four instances, 754, 001, BA0, 83B, which, are, which we launched, right? So I will go ahead and let's say select all of them. So I want to execute this command, uh, execute a shell script on all four of the instances, great. So we can also say that whether you want it to get executed you know, on all of them together, or you may go ahead and limit, say like execute on two targets concurrently and after. So uh, at one time it will execute only on two instances and then it will move forward. You can also specify that as percentage. Uh, stop after this X number of errors. If you want to specify, you can say. Then let's let's write the command. So I want to do sudo yum y install httpd, and then I want to start that service. Why am I giving hyphen y? Of course, those of you who are well averse, uh, who are who are well versed with Linux, uh, that is to basically give yes so i don't have to type yes i'm giving it in the command itself as hyphen y right so sudo service httpd start so start that service great so this is the command which i wanted to execute if if sometimes you know we want uh, we want a particular command to get executed within a directory so if that is the case you can give the working directory as well but in our case we are just installing a service or a, or a software packet so it doesn't matter much Execution timeout, if you want to give that after this much time, that's the maximum limit. If you want to specify, you can go ahead and give it. All right. So you, as you can see, default is 3600 seconds, which is basically one hour. Any comments? So yeah, you know, installing HTTPD today, something like that, yeah give it a time or something all right there are a few advanced options as well for example uh, if you want to write the complete output so when uh, this particular uh, commands gets get executed a lot of uh, output will come on the on the console right if you go via putty and you actually execute it you will see a lot of command coming up so you can go ahead and write all that output to an S3 bucket as well. So if you want, you can specify that and then you can give the S3 bucket and everything. You can also set up SNS notification if you want. And whatever you have given above, you know, the complete CLI command for that is being shown here. All right. So I'll just go ahead and now I will press run. So uh, we have already checked that there is no um, website running on, on, on these instances. So now go ahead and say run. When we press run, we can go ahead and click on this and we should see the results. So you can see that for now, because it's a very quick one for all four of them, it has been a success. So we can go ahead and select any one instance. Let's do one thing. So this is the first one, right? 754. So we'll go ahead and select 754 and we can see that it was success. And uh, you can also look at the output. If you click on view output, you get to see, right? The complete thing that how when, when you actually run sudo yum install this is how it comes but understand that only 2500 character characters would be shown here anything more than that get trimmed or gets truncated you need to if but if you have a specified s3 bucket you can have your complete output uh, dumped into the s3 bucket okay so anyway this this got executed now let us go back here we'll just pick the public ip we'll say go to this and just taking a minute let's give it a minute all right so you can see that we got the, the next page here it is all right great so uh, 
yeah that's what i wanted to show you uh, i hope uh, you you got to learn something from this so this was the, this was the part one uh, i'm going to bring more uh, you know lot more tutorials in this systems manager series so please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon probably so that you get notified uh, i would request you to 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 read about it more uh, it's really interesting and nowadays in order to manage your uh, manage your instances uh, this is being used a lot because systems manager is totally free there is no extra cost for this particular service right you are paying only for the resources for your ec2 instances which you are anyway paying so all these facilities which you are getting like run command and we'll see patch management and inventory and other things in the in the upcoming tutorials you are getting all those facilities totally free all right guys with that i will end this video if you are if you are preparing for certification in case please go and look at our playlist so that you get the get the videos in a systematic manner in the in the logical order all right thank you take care please share the video with one of your friends bye bye